Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Jacob Solanix with Chevy CLE Car Reviews, and today we are back at the Cleveland Auto Show with some sweet cars. I'm gonna be going over the all new 2024 Chevy Trax. I gotta say, this is one I'm really excited for um, as far as a sales standpoint, um, but just look at this car, it looks fantastic. So I'm gonna go over what's new between the previous tracks as well as the new tracks and go over like the new features and the design of the car. So be sure to like this video, comment your thoughts on the new 24 Chevy tracks, and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Alrighty guys, this one is just, this is a super, super cool car. It's our new 2024 Chevy Trax. Um, this is the active trim level, so this is brand spanking new. I didn't believe it was going to be at the auto show this year, so I had to do a lot of research because I found out yesterday that it was going to be here. So we're going to do a little walk around on the car, and as you can see, this doesn't look like the old tracks, not even close. It is just so much sportier looking. Um, they went more towards like the design of like the Trailblazer as well as like the Blazer, which you got right over here. So very sporty, sleek front end here. This is the active trim level, so this is gonna be a little sportier as well as the RS trim. So you have your daytime running LED lights here on the side. Love the look of that. And then you have that Blazer and Trailblazer style headlight that's more pointed toward the center of the car. It's got the black bow tie on it there. I love the black chrome on this active. It looks super good. This looks like the mosaic black color. Don't have an exact invoice, so I'm kind of winging it there. So the 2024 tracks is supposed to come out spring of 2023, so very, very soon. And I will tell you, working at a Chevy dealership, we cannot wait for these things to come in. There's an LS trim level, a 1RS, so the R 1RS is before the LT trim, so you have the LT after that. Then there's a 2RS, and then this one being your top trim, the active. On the LTs, you're gonna see 17 inch wheels, and I believe the RS and the Active are gonna have 18s, which this one has that 18 inch black wheel. Looks stunning on this trim level. All blacked out. The new Trailblazer is going to be powered by a 1.2 liter turbo inline three, producing about 137 horsepower, 162 pound feet of torque. It's got a six speed automatic transmission and they rate it currently at 28 city, 32 highway, and I'm sure you can get better than that. So great fuel economy, good for the environment and looks amazing. So here's some things that are different between your previous tracks and the new one. Basically the car got lower, which you can see most definitely did. It's a, little bit lower it's about four inches actually so i think with that lower design it kind of gives that sporty look and feel to it also it got wider and longer it's actually 11 inches longer than the previous model tracks but you can see that is confirmed it's definitely bigger it's honestly looks a little bit bigger than the trailblazer now but it's more like smushed down so you have your trailblazer out there in the distance it just looks kind of pushed down lower but longer and it's wider so it's two inches wider to be exact and with that being said there's way more cargo cargo room in this so we're going to go ahead and open it up by the hatch here so right underneath here one thing i was not able to figure out is if they come with a powered lift gate i could not find that online i don't believe it does because this is the active trim so as of right now, I'm gonna say it does not. But look how much space you get in these. I mean, this is way bigger than what you got on the previous generation. It's crazy. Got a little cubby holder on the side here. Pull up on this, so you got your spare tire underneath that. So definitely way bigger, way wider, so much more room from the previous uh, tracks that we had. Of course, you can still fold down your seats. We're going to actually find out together if it's the same way as the old tracks. This one here does have your 
Of course, backup camera, as well as your parking sensors down at the bottom there. They added that black chrome piece on the bottom there. I think that's a nice touch. It's definitely more like circled off on the back and it's more of like a kind of almost looks like a hatchback more like but still considered an SUV so very good tail lights look sweet the back end looks sweet you got the active there on the back your new tracks logo I'm pretty happy with this car I mean it just it looks great and then one thing that people are gonna love is the price points on these things they're starting the new tracks at $21,495 MSRP and the top trim level starts at 26 so like this here this is probably about a 26 to 27 MSRP for how much car you get it is insane one thing I do want to note they are not as of right now making this and an all-wheel drive so it's gonna be a front-wheel drive only system on the tracks so as of right now no front wheel or all-wheel if you want one you got to get front wheel or move up to a trailblazer blazer equinox but I just love this exterior it looks so freaking nice we're gonna walk around it one more time then we're gonna look a little more on the inside of it GM great job love it this is what we've been waiting for all these years Trax has been out for a very long time on the same platform and we're just excited to see something different here now we're gonna hop into the back seat of the tracks so I'm gonna come out here real quick just to kind of give you an idea of how much space is in here so they're saying you got about three more inches of legroom for your passenger and just overall a way better comfort so we're gonna hop in here and test it out so as you can see I've got plenty of room I'm almost six foot you got a little like storage cubby down there they do have a center console now in the tracks and then I see you got a USB and a USB-C back here in the active so super cool this one like i said is the active so it's gonna have a little special interior on it as you can see which we'll we'll look a little more at the interior on the front end but it is nice it's roomy it's comfortable we're gonna go ahead and take a second here to fold down the seats so unlike the old tracks learning this right now you no longer have to pull out that bottom cushion to lower your back seat so those will lay flat without moving that cushion, which is going to be super nice now if you're trying to load something in here or on a low, lower both sides. Just pull that tab there, that drops them. So super flat surface. And now, once you pull up your hatch, just way more room. Look at that. Look how much space you have in these things now. That is crazy. Alrighty, and now probably for the part that I'm most excited for is we are going to look at the new interior on the tracks. So first thing I want to start with is the seats on this active. Look how cool this is. So this is the Evotex seats with the yellow accents on it. You can see your active there. You got the yellow stitching all the way around the seat. These look sweet. I, I haven't been able to see these in person yet. Um, just seen some things online. And I wasn't too sure to think about it, but I actually really like it. It looks really nice. So you have this trim level with these seats. The LT and the LS are going to come with a black seat with gray accents on it. It's actually the Sky Cool Gray, which they don't have one here to show you. And then the RS, like your typical Rally Sport, is going to have the red accents, so probably red stitching with black interior throughout the seats. So can't wait for that. As you can see on this one here, probably LT and above, you have the full powered seat. So you have back and forth, the recline, as well as the lumbar support on this here. Very similar controls over here for your mirrors and windows. We've got the auto headlights down here. I like the circular air vents, kind of like the Camaros, Blazers, 
you got blind spot monitors in the mirror there so getting in here as we mentioned this is the uh, active this is like the top trim level that you can get on these so this is probably gonna have a little more options than like the standard um, LT so with that being said I'm gonna go over what I've found so far you can get on this trim level that you can't get on others one of those being the heated steering wheel that you can see here so heated steering wheel from what I can see you have to have an LT and up but it's an available option so it's not standard I believe on this trim level I think it's standard but I'm not a hundred percent sure so you have your heated steering wheel cruise control you now have front collision alert on the tracks this controls your main screen which this is one thing I love this new active screen so you have the two new touch screens this is an 11 inch with the 8 inch driver information center this is an active thing only to my knowledge so you have to get an active or I'm sorry LT and up so LT and up you have to get this um, screen it's available it's not on all of them we'll break down the packages more when I actually get one in stock but this 11 inch looks fantastic there is another screen display. Um, it's on the LS and the One RS. It's going to be an eight-inch touchscreen with no fancy um, infotainment center there. So this is on LT and above. It's available, not standard. So just so you guys know. But I love that. It looks sweet. I don't know if I can hit anything to get it to come up again. There we go. So that's what it will look like. But everything's kind of disabled right now. You got your automatic high beams. So one thing that's really cool is Chevy put the safety assist package on this and it is now standard on it. So with that being said, it's gonna have the front pedestrian braking, automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist, the forward collision alert, auto high beams, um, and the following distance indicator to tell you when you're kind of coming close to somebody. So super cool. Um, it's standard now, even on like the LS trim level. Very good. Everybody loves their safety. So remote starts available, almost standard on most trims. Like I said, the heated steering wheels, LT and ups, uh, standard on the higher trims. And then heated seats are now available on all trims. So you can get it even on an LS. It's not standard, but it is available. So this one, you have your heated seats down here. It looks like you got a dual no i'm sorry this is probably a single climate so this is probably your fan speed this is your temperature front rear defroster your hazards are right here you got a nice storage cubby and you got available wireless charging now so not standard available uh, on these cars so usb usb c and a 12 volt down here you can see you got two different modes you got auto stop start now available so you can disengage that your lane keep assist if you want that off as well and that goes hand in hand with that blind spot monitor i love the dash here though this is like a it's like a textured dash i don't know if, how well you guys can see it it looks nice then you have textured on the side there and it kind of goes to a solid piece it's all gray see that that looks sweet i really like that this comes with like the new shifter that you've seen on the new blazers and equinox so the nice new chevy shifter you got the nice steering wheel so very good leather wrapped love the look of that and you do have a sunroof on this one here sunroof controls are right there on it so very nice i will say it's a it's a comfortable seating i mean i'm very comfortable i've got plenty of room i didn't move the seat whatsoever getting into this good view out the back there the blind spots don't seem to be too bad on them so this interior love it great job GM can't wait to get these in stock and get customers into the new tracks because I think people are gonna love these and today we're gonna end this video with looking at the engine real quick so this is that 1.2 liter inline three-cylinder like I said it produces about 137 horsepower 100, 162 pound-feet of torque and it's powered by that six speed automatic. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys what this looks like here. Really easy to get into your engine area, just so you know. So very good. It's gonna keep
can't wait to drive one, see the power that it has because I have heard it's got a, a nice little touchy pickup to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm very excited for the new tracks. It looks fantastic and it's going to be at a phenomenal price point. Looks like you can get a very nicely equipped one for the mid-20s, maybe, maybe a little above that. So we're super excited to see these in stock. Can't wait to drive one. Can't wait to do some more videos on them. So I hope you guys like the new tracks as much as I do. I've never thought I would say I'm super excited for one, but I really am. Love the interior, love the design. So let me know your uh, comments below, what you guys think of the new car. Like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. We're, we're doing the best we can. We're getting more content out to you guys. I'm gonna be doing some more videos at the car show here. So like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you guys for the next one.